and inside Robin's eyes, literally showing us the cutting edge test that could stop eye disease in its tracks. Could it help save the eyesight of millions? It's gonna be a fun summer in the park. Now our series, The Cutting Edge, we're looking at the latest in medical tests that could help you live a longer, healthier life. You went first yesterday. I got two words for yes. you. Spandex. Let it die. Spandex. Let it die. Oh. Never let it die. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this would jazz it up if I did that, but yeah. not here. Today, it's your eyes, and we start with my eyes. I'm worried that my vision is not what it used to be. Forty-itis set in a few yeah, years ago. Eyes. Moments ago. Yeah, moments ago. And each year, did you know this? Over nine million Americans each year are diagnosed with diseases like glaucoma that can cause blindness. But there's a new device that maps the eye could be a well could be a major breakthrough for everyone the colors shapes images that make up our lives but what if instead of this we saw this instead of this we saw this this is reality for over 10 million visually impaired people in this country but what if we could stop eye disease in its tracks and treat it before the damage was done that's the promise held in a new generation of eye scanners, which uses technology called Spectral OCT. Tell us about the machine, what it's called, and how it works. We're talking about Spectral Domain OCT, that's optical coherence tomography. And that's a way of looking at the back of the eye, the retina, just using light. This is not the simple eye exam we're all used to getting at the corner eyeglasses shop. Hello. There are only 100 or so of these Spectral OCT instruments available worldwide. But with the help of Dr. Joel Schumann from the University of Pittsburgh, I was able to get rare access to one. I'd like you to have a seat right there. As an African-American woman over 40, I have a greater risk for developing glaucoma. So I was especially interested in what the results would be. And what we're doing now is we're looking right at the optic nerve. The test really is painless and quick. Just a few minutes to get so much information. Why is it so important? Why should we be excited about this? There are certain eye diseases where there are no symptoms, and yet they're very common, so that if you detect it early, you may be able to do much less intense treatment in order to control that disease than if you catch it late. The new technology allows doctors to see the tiniest of details inside the eye and identify the specific areas that are damaged. This is a, uh, somebody who has fluid underneath the retina, and that's this kind of humped up area that, that's a blister of fluid underneath the retina and that would affect the person's vision. Now this is uh, a map. Um, that one shows where there's normal healthy tissue in a healthy eye. Um, this is an eye with glaucoma and I think you can see that there's not as much of that bright coloring. Yeah. So how are my eyes? Well see for yourself. This is me. So this is from your scan this morning. And you see these bright colors here, yeah, uh, just like they're supposed to be. And then this is a three-dimensional reconstruction. So this depression here is your optic nerve, and this is your retina, and everything uh, everything's looking pretty good. But I can't I can't believe that that's that's my eye. It's a very exciting tool, and it really helps us to detect disease early, to detect progression early. Might be bold to ask, but will this help someone? not become blind? I, I believe that it will. Yeah, I, I do. A high-tech tool with the power to help millions of people preserve some of life's simplest pleasures. And really have to thank the ophthalmy ophthalmology department at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York and the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center for their help. If you're over 40, you should really see your eye doctor be checked by an IMD every two to four years if you're over 65 every year or two and again mm. you may not even realize that you have a condition there's yeah. before you even have any type of systems and uh, symptoms and this procedure I asked them about the cost of this they don't know right now it's not really readily available they expect that it will be very soon and it could be when you go in for your regular eye exam that this is part of it and particularly as the boomers in a generation yeah. starts to age so many mm -hmm. eye problems mm. you're up next oh yeah surgery tomorrow you're gonna do surgery tomorrow oh. unbelievably they